What's up, Basil Babes? We just made it home from Round Rock. That's like the oh, my ears. Um, that's like Austin, close to Austin, Texas. Um, it is now 11:16 p.m. and I'm exhausted. Bobby drove to the game. I drove back. So on her way back, she cut her braids out and started taking out her braids. So the girls had three games today. Um, they won the first two. It was nail biting. They won by one point <laughs> both games. It was nail biting. My nerves were bad. And then the last game, it was a good game. They lost by five. They lost by five points, but they, they came back from the dead on that one. They should have been playing that way the whole game. But it was a good game. It was a good trip. We did not stay. Um, we didn't stay. We just, it was a one day trip. So we left at 7 this morning. So we got up at 6 a.m. this morning. We had pizza for breakfast. We have no eggs at, <laughs> at home. And see, that's the thing. So we just, we're just now getting home. But that's the thing. I can eat whatever. Sydney will cry. I don't know what to eat. I don't know what to eat. Figure it out. And I don't take orders. I don't take orders. Once in a blue moon, if I'm cooking, you're going to eat what I cook. You're you going to eat what's up in this house. You don't see what you want to eat. I said we have tons of tuna. We got tons of um canned chicken. We have quinoa. We have rice. We have tons of ramen that connie child likes to sing which we love by the way tons of ramen i'm like there's always something there's nothing to eat why because you don't want to cook it and there's no eggs well that's why i knew we, you were gonna have to talk about sydney i knew you were gonna have this problem so before we left i took out um pancake mix i believe it was from connie child too you just add water. So I just left it on the counter because I knew you didn't have nothing. We don't have eggs. I didn't want to go back to the store last night. Bobby didn't want to go back to the store to get some eggs. So, you know, we had for breakfast, we had a slice of Little Caesars pizza. Yeah, it's that kind of month. The end of the month is rough. It's rough, okay? It's just rough. But let me tell you, my rent is paid. <laughs> it might eat me alive, but my rent is paid, okay? So I'm like, uh, you better, uh, we ate pizza. Um, so we had soup and salad <laughs> for lunch. Um, I, I say Bay Daddy sponsored that lunch. <laughs> and we just had a soup and salad. I was like, look, we have a water, okay? <laughs> we were, we were kind of hungry. And then, um, she went back for a last game and oh, I'm glad to be home. I can feel I'm trying not to I'm I'm going to try not to have this video be too long cuz you know I'll start that talking business. I want to get in the shower and just crawl in my bed and try to edit a video. I know sometimes I disappear in the videos. Um I'm either inundated with whatever something going on, but in most cases we're fine or I'm doing something else. I don't know. I'm just not into the school year. I think Rona just messed it up. You know, before I'd be ready to fix up my classroom, this and that, I'm kind of out of it. And I really, really hate to say this, and I'm not going to say any names. I'm not going to say any names. But I think someone killed my spirit last year. Um... And it's, it's I'm, I'm embarrassed to say, someone robbed me of my joy. I, I'm just, with the, with the teaching stuff, I think this might be my last year. I'm, I'm going to do online teaching. I'm seriously considering online teaching because it's in line with um, RV living, the RV life. I have to do online teaching. I still got to make money. YouTube not paying me any coin, honey. Ooh, let me, let me insert a clip right here. I want to give a big shout out to Connie Chow. Oh my gosh. 
it was just wonderful it brought tears to my eyes um and like i've said to you guys before watching the video giving the video a thumbs up putting a little comment your words of encouragement i mean your comments really do mean the world to me it doesn't have to be you know materialistic things or anything like that it, it just really it really means the world to me that um and i was telling someone today i said i have a small you know people who care about me I said but they really care about me at least I, I feel like you guys do so I, I thank you very much <laughs> so thank you very much for that you know I appreciate it I love I love it I love it and I just feel as though let me just go back and say this many of you some of you know that I'm the last surviving member in my immediate family and I've said this before, but for those of you who don't know, my mom, my father, my brother, sister, all deceased. And um, at, some, at, at some stages in my life, it did feel lonely. Um, you know, felt like I had no one else. But I can honestly say that I have truly been blessed to have been loved by small pockets of people throughout my journey of life. And I feel as though this phase, this past two and a half, going on three years on YouTube, I found another pocket of people who have embraced me. And you know, some people come and some people go. I tell people, you know, the number of subscribers that are there um, really does not matter. It really does not matter. What matters are the people who actually take the time to watch your videos. And that's what matters. And I've even heard um, B Love say it. They, they was like, if you got 500 people, you got 100 people that watch you, you got 1,000 people that watch you, just think that, that 100, that 1,000, that 500 can fill, fill up, you know, a little room or, or, or a stadium or whatever. That's 500, 1,000, 2,000 people that are there to listen to you and speak to you. So if you think about it and change your thinking, well, for me, it really means the world to me. And like I said before, I was telling somebody, I was like, you know, I do have a small following. I said, but they follow me, but they love me. So I'm going to say, y'all do okay. And so throughout my journey of life, I feel as though I found another pocket of people who have grown to love me and care about me. I know I get emails and stuff when I disappear for two, three days. <laughs> and you know, basketball has been a killer this year. Well, later in the year due to COVID. And so, you know, I'm very appreciative of that. But I, I truly have been blessed to have been loved by different pockets of people. Even people that I meet just for that moment can have a big impact on me. I don't know if any of you remember my Thanksgiving video on how that man hugged me and just brought me to tears, a hug. That meant the world to me. I don't know, maybe I needed that hug. I, I don't know his spirit, I don't know. But it meant the world to me. And a couple of years ago, I gave out free turkeys um, in a grocery store and I gave it to this lady and she just cried and cried and cried. And then we start crying together. So maybe just that moment in time meant the world to her. And I feel as though I've truly been blessed, you know, throughout my journey, not having my immediate family there. Sometimes it's hard. Thanksgiving is hard for me. Thanksgiving is very hard. And y'all know how I feel about Christmas. That be make my nerves bad. Ooh, I don't even want to think about that, y'all. Mm. You guys have helped me with that. So, you know, I feel really, really blessed. You know, I can complain about a lot of things, mostly financial, mostly financial. But I've been able to keep a roof over my head, food in the fridge. Some days it's, it's a little, little tight, a little tight, a little tight. I made sacrifices for, um, you know, for where we live, the area we live, the school that the kids go to. And I'm almost at the end. I can do it, y'all. <laughs> So after this year, the owner of this townhouse just, oh, oh y'all know I'm starting to talk, child. I should be going to bed. The owner of this townhouse just texted me. Um, and he says, what did he say? Something about, I love your diligence, uh, you know, because I pay my rent. I get my little paycheck, my rent is paid, child. So, I, look, I'll pay rent before I buy some food up in here. <laughs> I'm making sure. I got a roof over my head and the kid's head because um, oof, that other house, goodbye. Ooh, that made my nerves bad, that last house. 
but I make sure. I make sure, child. I'll say we make, we're gonna be eating peanut butter and jelly this week. But at least you got a roof over your head. We ain't stressing about that. <laughs> and then he asked me if I wanted to renew my lease. And I said, yes, just one more year. Um, because as you know, the following year, I'll be downsizing again to an apartment. And then the last year, gone. Because then my other daughter, Sydney, will be gone. So just one more year, I got to hang on to this, to this spot rough it's rough <laughs> it's rough i can do it i can do it look i've survived worse i can survive this so i'm thinking i'm thinking in my head i may have said this already just pretend like you're hearing it for the first time okay um this might be my last year teaching it might i'm stressed out about this school year i, I can feel it all in my chest I'm stressed out so this might be my last year and then I'm con going to convert to online teaching you know you could teach another country or something like that and for some of these places to teach online every place does not require um, a degree you have to have a special certification so like in the United States they want you to have ESL certification English as a second language but other countries don't recognize ESL, English as a second language. I think it's called TOEFL, don't get me the line, but it's something T-O-E-F, something, something, something. And you can get that certification on, um, you can get that certification on Groupon. Well, you pay for it on Groupon. I think it's like $20. I think you gotta do like 100 hours or something like that. So I'm hoping once, I get my feet wet and get my routine going and so on and so forth. I want to start working on that certification because I think this might be it, y'all. It's stressful. I don't know. Nobody ain't tell y'all. Teaching is stressful. And plus with the uncertainty of the new year, it's stressful. Now teachers are being forced to teach online classes, you know, online classes and you know it's called blended learning so you do a little online you do a little in class now you gotta do both it's a lot it's a lot and then my district they put you gotta get it's their certification you gotta take i don't know i want to say like 30 40 hours of online training that i have not started okay um to be certified as an online teacher just give me a classroom i'll be fine <laughs> i'm so overwhelmed if i could i would probably properly throw in a towel i would throw in a towel but i'm like what well, i'm gonna i still got i still got bills to pay not that i don't love the kids and love teaching i do but with everything on top of that and what they're expecting us to do it's a lot the, the annual trainings, that's a lot. Then they put the on the additional online certification training on top of that. Then you have all the team building, all the, the, the trainings that they have the first week of school that they do every year. And it's just, it's the same song and dance, just a different day. Then you have that on top of that. Then you gotta create lesson plans on top of that. Then you gotta create online lesson plans on top. If I could, I would throw in a towel. It's a lot. And my brain has not wrapped around it and processed it all. And then um, I just did a video in my classroom. I don't know where I'm gonna post that. I might post it on this channel, I might post it on my teacher channel of me trying to figure out how to have 15 to 17 seats in my classroom. Each seat must be six feet apart. I have to figure that out. So I started bringing stuff home. At this point, the principal needs to approve like the furniture the sofas and stuff if he was like oh you can't have that trash or well, i'll tell the custodians just take it because as i need and then i walked through my garage today and i was like why does this garage look full i'm supposed to be downsizing and this is not looking downsized 
because I brought stuff home from school that could no, that can no longer fit in my classroom. So at this point, if he says um, you, you you can't have that type of furniture, I don't want to say trash. The consult the custodians can do whatever they want with it. Done. I'm done. Just done. Take all the sofas. Bring me free public school education desks. Uh huh. That's what's gonna be. And you have to take a um. You have to take a measuring tape to make sure each seat is six feet apart. Yep. So I did as much as I could. Bobby and I did as much as we could in one day. I don't have anything on the walls. Something is telling me don't even bother. <laughs> And y'all know I could flip a classroom, but some of the same don't even bother. Don't even, just forget about it. So I don't know. I, I have to see. I have to. I don't know if I'm gonna go out like that. That's like that punk move. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, y'all. You know, I still gotta be looking cute up in there, okay? Um, so I don't know. I'm I I've, I'm very I'm stressed out, I'm overwhelmed. I'm very overwhelmed. I can feel a little anxiety. My my anxiety hits me right here on my chest. It hits me on my chest. So I do feel that um, today is Saturday. I don't know when I'm gonna get this up. So right now, today is Saturday. Tomorrow, I have to do Bobby's hair. So I'll be spending the entire Sunday doing my daughter's hair. So when do I have time to do those um online training things i refuse to stay at school late i won't do that because i think bobby may have to work here and there i'm just i'm just that's my goal not to stay late at school mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I did that a lot last year, leaving late, leaving 9 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night, terrified because it's pitch, pitch black, dark. I'm not doing that. I'm, I, I, I'm not doing that. I'm done. Done. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So I don't know. You know, I, you know, I'm more concerned about my safety. And it's dark. There's no security at that time. Mm -mm. Walking to my car by myself. Done. Mm -mm. And I couldn't get a parking spot right outside my classroom um, exit. Those those spots go like that. You have to um, request those early. So I'm like, you know, I'm one of the, one of the few teachers um, who typically stays late. I, I don't want to put my my safety at risk. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it this year done so I've been saying little prayers and stuff to get me through this year and I'm looking forward to my journey I just found something downstairs that was on my fridge and I'm gonna put it in my bathroom so my bathroom is like my um like my toilet area has it has its own little door so my bathroom is like my little vision board and my dreams and stuff so I just found this in my kitchen I was like this is so fitting So I am so excited. I am beyond excited to start this new phase of my life. And I can see it coming to fruition. I really got to get the online certification. So I want to see the online certification and start teaching online, hopefully in January, February. So I can see what it's like and get it going before <laughs> I talk about I'm starting online. I still got to be to pay rent for one more year. So get a small apartment, downsize and get a small apartment for next year after this lease is up here. So I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. <laughs> so I told Bobby and City, once you leave for college, don't plan to come back. And I was telling Bobby on I drive home, say I'm talking, I'm talking to my, oh, it's 20 minutes, y'all, I gotta go. Um, so I was talking to Bobby on a drive back from Round Rock, which is near Austin or whatever. I just say it's Austin. And um, I said, I left my house probably, I left my mom, my mom left me. I was 20, 21. I was like, so it's doable. I said, I, I didn't go back home. 
I mean, she passed away, so I was kind of forced to. And I think I was engaged to my first husband at that time. Really, really nice guy. Um, so I was like, if I can do it, you can do it. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You just need to learn how to do your own hair. That's what you need to do. All right, guys. I can stay on here another 20 to 30 minutes, but I don't want to do that to y'all. Okay? I don't want to do that to y'all. And um, so I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you off the hook this time, okay? I'm gonna get you next time, though. Mhm. Mm I know how I get y'all. I get y'all on the lives. <laughs> I get you on the lives. Have you on there for about two, three hours? A cute two, three hours? Yes, honey. Yes. So I'm got my little hat on. Ooh, got. I don't put hats on my bed. Oh, I just grew up. My mom said, don't put a hat or umbrella on your bed. They said it's bad luck. I know I look a hot mess. But guys, I colored my hair with the braids in it again. Yep, I sure did. I just did from here to about here. I just did that, that part. You know, around here and here. Yup. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm not, re I'm not ready to go for the, the gray. Nope, not feeling that right now. So I did color it, y'all. Mm-hmm. I sure did. And I just rinsed it and washed it. And I think I redid five braids. I, I redid five. I could, yeah, some of them need to be redone. So I just do a few braids. I refuse to take this out. So maybe I'll commit to like five braids every other day or something like that. At first I said 10. I ain't get to the 10. I did five yesterday. I was like freaked out. Who's staying up late to do these braids? But mm -mm. I, I, I can't bring myself to take these braids out. I just can't. It was too much time to put them in. And now I no longer have that time. So let's see. This is August. I think we get a week off in September. So maybe in September, September, I'll take the braids out. But I'll keep, you know, I'll shampoo and stuff and I'll keep redoing braids here. But maybe I'll take the whole thing out in September when I have a full week. And I can do like a couple of hours a day to do my, redo my braids. All right. I'm, st I'm starting on another topic. All right. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, share. Leave a comment below. I don't know what I was talking about. I was talking about a little bit of everything. Okay. Leave a comment below. And I will check in with you guys later. Thank you for listening to my recap of my day. I'm sorry. I'm going to get in a shower, child. I'm going to try to put this in my bathroom. Okay. Fine, 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 fine. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, later.